Hello, Mike here. I want to chat to you about Expert Agent Mobile. So this is the version of Expert Agent that we've built for use on mobile phones, designed to get you out of trouble by giving you background information when a customer catches you in the supermarket or in the, in the cinema or something similar. It's not designed to replace a laptop or a tablet if you're serious about working out on the road but it should give you enough information to be able to get your appointments and your tasks and um, look up phone numbers, etc. So let me show you what it's all about. Now, I can't do screen grabs and things on a uh, mobile. I probably could, but I haven't got the technology to do it. So I'm just gonna show it to you on, on my laptop and I'll show you something very clever. So mobile.expertagent.co.uk goes all over the place. You can see a, a right old mess here. But when you click this button in Google Chrome um, and you go to more tools here. There's this thing called developer tools. When you click that one, remarkably and very cleverly, you get to this situation where you can change the device you're using it on. So I'm now able to simulate using Expert Agent on an iPhone 6 Plus. That's really clever, isn't it? Um, we started doing the initial testing using this, but of course later we moved on to the real devices themselves. Good. So you log in to Expert Agent Mobile, and I'll do it properly so as not to, to cheat. Start again, there we go. And you log in by going to mobile.expertagent.co.uk and you put your login details in, like that, and your password. And you press login, and it takes you to its little home page. There we go. So when you click the top here, you've got um, the big top menu, diary, click into that one and here's a list of the appointments that you've got and you can scroll up and down through them. Naturally, you'll be using a touch screen so you'll be able to get into there. When you see an appointment, you can click into it, just touch it on your screen and you'll get the full appointment details. Here we go, etc. Right at the very bottom, you've got the ability here to open up the property record in question. So when you click that one, that opens up the property record. Here it is and you can see the, the access and the keys and the vendor details and we've bolted in neat things like you can click this one and it would open up um, Google Maps or Apple Maps on an on a, uh, Apple device um, to show you where it is that you're, you're going to. Good. Um, you should see further down, if I've got vendor phone numbers and things in there and I haven't, you can click on them and it will auto dial for you, which is kind of helpful. So we've got uh, all, the, all the notes and the other bits and pieces that go in there. So clicking back to the top menu again, you've got your navigation history. So here's navigation history. Here's all the things I've looked at recently. Um, so we'll click into that property again. And it will take me into here. There we go. Um, all very good. Um, in a property record, when you click into there, you can see the, um, the events. So you can do show history. And here's everything I've done on that particular property record. Um, if I go back to the top again, I can press the same button again. And I can do a new event note. So here we go, it's a, it's a note or it's a sales progression thing, I don't know. Uh, spoke to Vendor um, survey results on his purchase are back. All okay, there we go. Um, said it's a task if I want to, not much else. No, that's fine. And then just do a save at that point. Good, and it locks it away for me. Clever, isn't it? So. Again, in that scenario that we've talked about where you get caught out by a client, you can chat to him with authority by showing him information and then um, log the report, you know, the, the, the stuff that you've discussed uh, back into the system as an event. So back to the top menu, other stuff, navigation history. You've also got a full search. So if we go into here and we type in Griffiths, no system is complete without a Griffiths applicant. And here's loads of people who've got Griffiths in their email address. There's Mr. Griffiths, the applicant. Click into his record there. And then we've got some basic info. When you get into a record, the submenu there lets you show the history, do a new, a new note, make an appointment, send a text message, send an email. The one thing it doesn't let you do at this point is change their prices and, and change the, um, I don't know, their email addresses and all sorts of stuff because that isn't really what it's for. It's designed to just... To, as discussed, get you out of trouble. Good. Excellent. Okay. Um, the help takes you in just to the, the section in Learning Center that we've, we've been looking at. Um, there's um, tasks as well. You can see your tasks on the homepage when you get there. 
So all the jobs you've got to do, here they all are, down at the bottom. Good, so over to you. You tell us what you wanted to do. Bear in mind this premise that it isn't here to help you run the business, it's just to get you out of trouble. If you can think of things that you want it to do within that context that we haven't thought of, please let us know and we'll get them in the system for you. To do that, go to help at the top, click that one, and it pops up the uh, Expert Agent Mobile help page. And within that, you'll find that there's an ability to record either a bug or an enhancement. So don't use the normal support ticket system. Just put them in via Expert Agent Mobile itself. And we'd love to have a look and see what we could do to make it better for you. Excellent. Thanks for watching.